day 21 by the masses of god psalm 21 we come up live to glorify the name of the lord and to honor him and to magnify his name we bless his name for there is none like him none whatsoever hallelujah we give you the praise our father we give you the glory we give you the adoration that is due to your name <laughs> let your name be glorified lord let your name be magnified lord jesus we sing you're not a man no you're the god who opens doors no one can shut you're not a man no. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything. No one like you. Hallelujah. You, Jesus. No one like you. No one like you. No one like you. Ken Boss. Welcome. No one like you, Master. You're the God of everything. No one like you. Hallelujah. Rejoice in the strength of the Lord. We come to proclaim the word of God in Psalm 21. Proclaiming it in season 7. Hallelujah. You're not a man, no. Well, we just have to stop the musical here because of the copyrights and all these things. But one joyful thing that will happen in heaven is that we will continually be worshipping Yeshua. And that will be a great thing. So we want to dive straight into the word of God. And I want to appreciate each one of you that has joined us all over the nations of the earth. And for you who's subscribed to our channel this is a wonderful time it's a powerful week and this is the beginning of spring for those people who are in the springtime you can see behind me the lightnings and all those things and that's how prayers get answered so it's such a joy and great delight to be able to share god's word and hallelujah it's just amazing psalm 21 we go for the director of music a psalm of david Oh Lord, the king rejoices in your strength. How great is his joy in the victories you give. You have granted him the desire of his heart and have not withheld the request of his lips. You have welcomed him with rich blessings and placed a crown of pure gold on his head. Verse 4, he asked you for life and you gave it to him length of days forever and ever verse 5 through the victories you give through the victories you gave his glory is great hallelujah you have bestowed on him splendor and majesty Surely you have granted him eternal blessings and made him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord. Through the unfailing love of the Most High, he will not be shaken. Your hand will lay hold on all your enemies. Your right hand will seize your foes. At the time of your appearing, you will make them like a fairy furnace. In his wrath, the Lord will swallow them up, and his fire will consume them. You will destroy their descendants from the earth, their posterity from mankind. Though they plot evil against you and devise wicked schemes, they cannot succeed. For you will make them turn their backs when you aim at them with a drawn bow. Be exalted, 
O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your might. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your might. Be exalted in your strength. We will sing and praise your might. Everlasting Father, you who is not a man, give us strength. And your word says, the word of the Lord says to us, Rejoice in the Lord. And again I say rejoice. And another place in the book of Nehemiah, it says, The joy of the Lord is our strength. What a joy and delight to see how God's mercies and His majesty empower us to remain strong and steadfast in Him. It's an encouragement that even though we went through season 1, season 2, season 3, season 4, season 5, season 6, and now the Lord has helped us to come into season 7, to gain a heart of understanding. To gain a heart of understanding. Hallelujah. What a joy. Lightnings. Hallelujah. Thunder. Lightnings. Power of God. This just stirs my heart to jump on to Psalm 29 and just proclaim it on this wonderful day. It says, ascribe to the Lord, O mighty ones. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. Beloved, this voice gives us strength. Psalm 29, we are going to get there in the next eight days. But as we have been gathered by God together, to be in this time, in this moment, in this season, to be able to see the faithfulness of God, to see the majesty of the King of Kings, to see the joy of the King, that we may rejoice in His strength. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for the rain in its season, Lord. Thank you for the rain in its season. Thank you, Lord, for those lightnings, O oh God, for answers to prayer. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to record this live and to be able to see what you're doing among us. Rome, uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 8. Revelation, chapter 8. Verse 3. It says this, and this one is in answers to prayer. Let me just read. This is exactly when the seventh seal is opened. This is in the book of Revelation chapter 8. It says, When he opened the seventh seal, ah, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. Another angel who had a golden censer came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense to offer. Together with the prayer, prayers of all the saints on the golden altar before the throne. Our prayers rising to the Lord like you know, incense rising to the Lord. And it says, uh, Revelation 8, 4, it says, The smoke of the incense, together with the prayers of the saints, went up before God from the angel's hand. Listen, verse 5. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire, ha <laughs> ha, from the altar, and hurled it on the earth. And there came peals of thunder. They came what? Peals of thunder, rumblings, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. Flashes of lightning, flashes of lightning, flashes, hallelujah, just like what you're seeing behind me. Flashes of lightning, hallelujah, that there came flashes of lightning, 
Rade Bobrini. Oh my God. Rede Sondrada. Answers to prayer happening prophetically as you are watching right now. We record this on the 21st of March, 2023, at 7.16 in the p.m. What a joy and delight, Father. Thank you so much for allowing us into this wonderful time of rejoicing in your strength and re rejoicing in your power and, and digging deep into the well of salvation. Rejoice in the strength of the Lord, beloved. Rejoice. Make an conscious decision to remain planted in the vineyard of the Lord. A question we ask many times. How may I know the voice of the Lord? One of the key words is, my sheep know my voice. If you are a sheep of the Lord, you will know his voice. Others ask me, how does he speak? How does he say? Being able to interpret the voice of the Lord, he speaks in a language called obedience. When you obey Lord, the Lord in the small things, he will constantly open up a way for you for the big things. Those small, small things that he keeps speaking to you in the day, in the night, speaking, speaking to you, is telling you these things, telling you that thing, telling you this, telling you that. As long as you listen to him, when you listen to the voice of the Lord, then you can be able to tell what he's speaking. His voice thunders. Just like he charges the clouds. is the God who is in charge that charges the clouds, that the clouds release electricity, as you can see behind me. You can see the lightning. You can see the flashes of lightning. And the flashes of lightning come from charged clouds. And when we read in the scriptures about these charged clouds, we see that this is how God answers prayers. He says that, and there came... Peals of thunder, rumblings, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. This is how the Lord is sending answers to prayer upon the earth. When the seven seals, when the seven trumpets are released, what a joy. Now, when we read the book of, Re of Revelation, you know, I've once spoken to someone who told me, I'm very afraid to read the book of Revelation. As I say, the book of Psalms is a good book. But when I read, I don't understand. Now, the book of Psalm is a collection of prayers, is a collection of many things. And it is praise that needs to be the blossom of prayer. 150 days of Psalms are promptings of prayer to allow you into the place of learning what to pray, how to pray, what to tell the Lord. Though we cannot sing a note in honor of our own strength, we can always rejoice in our omnipotent God. Ah, Rejoice in the strength of the Lord. I encourage again, rejoice in the strength of the Lord. If we trust Him, we will rejoice in Him. Psalm 21 looks forward to Jesus. Who is God over all blessed forever? He was once crowned with thorns, but now he's wearing the crown of glory. He is the pleader whose requests are never withheld. We need to make use of the all prevailing intercessor by rejoicing in the strength of the Lord. Rejoice in his strength. Remain in his strength. Stay firmly planted in his strength. Do not move back. Do not backslide. Keep moving forward. Keep going ahead. Keep move going ahead. Keep going ahead and seeking his face and seeking it continually. It's a joy to be able to come to the word of God fresh every single time and tell him, God, we want to know more. We want to know more. 
I will conclude by this one. Revelation 11.15. This is the seventh seal. When the seventh seal shall be opened, it says, the seventh, the seventh angel sounded his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven, which said, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and his Christ, and we will reign forever and ever. That is one of the things that the enemy does not want you to know. That the kingdom of our God will reign forever and ever and ever. He liked to, to show you that he was defeated. Jesus was, you know, he finished his job so now that Satan is the one in control. And in the entertainment industry, we keep seeing a lot of wickedness growing and building up every day. In the name of content. But this word is also called strength. This word is also called pure, purified seven times over. This word is living, active, sharper than a two edged sword to the dividing of the soul and the spirit, the joints and the marrow, and judging the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. I must end here because that's the mandate the Lord has put in my hands. But I want to encourage you who's not born again. You who's backslidden. You who feels that Christianity is a set of rules that, to be, that need to be followed. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1. It is for freedom Christ came. So don't be yoked again in a yoke of slavery. We'll talk about this again soon as the Lord enables us. So if you're there, you'd like to give your life to Jesus. I want you to pray this with me. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says, If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So I want you to pray with me this prayer. I say, Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth that you are Lord. I believe in my heart. God raised you from the dead. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I am born again. The old is gone. The new has come. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and with your fire. In Jesus' name, Amen. Again, I want to make another prayer. For you who feels dry, who feels, you know, like things are not flowing the way they should, God is going to rearrange, reorganize, organize, turn it around, bring it to His purposes. To pass in your life that the goodness of the Lord will be your portion that God will cause answers to prayer to manifest in your situation so let's believe God together hallelujah and also our partners who have been able to stand with us to enable that you know the videos are running the Lord is helping us ensuring the chariot is moving that's a joy for you to partner with this kind of a work. We thank God that as we enter into the seventh edition, every blessing that God has prepared for you, it will not be transferred to another in the name of Jesus. Every blessing that you have, you know, God has purpose for us. Ephesians 1 3. Every blessing that has been set up in the heavenly realms is going to come to a portion in the name of Jesus. As we see the rains coming, we see also the reign of the glory of God, the blessing, the favor. We experience the blessing of Yeshua, who is ever sure. Hallelujah. What a wonderful, wonderful backdrop there to see the heavens sending the wonderful flashes of lightning. It's such a blessing. It's such a blessing to just share the goodness of God. It's such a blessing to enjoy and to rejoice in the strength of the Lord. 
we have to conclude now. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. See you in day 22. I encourage you to also write to me on WhatsApp plus 254-722-087-087. The prayer meeting is on every single time as the Lord gave us a time to pray for 40 days. And we thank God that he has enabled us to continue every single day, day by day. And it's a joy. So see you in the Google Meet at the top of 10.30 p.m. Shalom.